Hello and welcome to News Click. I am Sumedha. In this episode of the Daily Roundup, we give you a heads up on some of the most important stories that we report about at News Click. In an extremely saddening news for India, at least 45 Central Reserve Police Force troopers were killed after an impoverished explosive device exploded in Avantipura in Pulwama district on Thursday. The death toll may go further up as several remain officially injured after the attack. As per reports, the blast took place when a CRPF bus which reached Lethora and a Scorpio SUV exploded soon after the bus crossed it. The attack was reportedly carried out by a 20-year-old suicide bomber. Jaish Mohammed has gone ahead to claim responsibility for the attack, which is being seen as the worst attack on the security personnel in the state in over a decade. Here's a look at some of the visuals from the site of the incident. While the government is citing a link with Pakistan, Pakistan has gone ahead to express concerns and has denied any of its role in the Fidayin attack. Against this backdrop, some of the questions beg quick and responsible replies from the Indian government. How is an intelligence failure of such a scale and a magnitude be allowed to take place? What is the BJP government doing to stabilize the situation in the valley? These are some tough questions that the BJP will have to answer before it goes on further. In a recent development yesterday, Supreme Court has ordered the states to report what action they have been taking against the tribals and forest dwellers whose claims to forest lands have been rejected under the Forest Rights Act. The court's February 13 decision came in a case which was filed by wildlife groups demanding that people whose claims have been rejected under the law be termed as encroachers evicted from forest lands. If the court accepts the pleas of these wildlife groups and the petitioners, state governments would have to undertake massive evictions. It is important to note that during the proceedings, which could, be, which could hugely impact the lives of the tribals, central government's lawyers were actually missing from court premises. The Congress, which came to power under the banner of the United Progressive Alliance, legislated the Forest Rights Act in 2006 to counter such massive evictions that did not take into account the historical displacement of tribals from forests due to continuation of the colonial era forest laws. After opposition from political parties, protests by farmers, now even railway employees have gone on to state that they are opposing the Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train project. The Railway Workers Union, which is called the National Federation of Indian Railway, has asked the government to prioritize work on the existing train routes than focusing on the bullet train project. Around 800 farmers affected by the Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train project had previously protested on February 6th in Navsari in Gujarat, demanding better compensation for their land. As the Narendra Modi government keeps pushing the bullet train project, dissent on the project is continuously growing and is worrisome. That's all that we have for you today on this episode of the Daily Roundup. To follow these stories and many more, log on to our website www.newsclick.in, subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.